Hi everyone, in this video we are going to directly compare the risks of a coal power plant with the risks of a nuclear power plant. Okay, so let's get this very, very straight and keep it nice and simple. So let's start with a column for risks. We need a column for coal. And we need a column for nuclear. So let's start off with very, very simple risk. So mine worker safety. Mine worker safety. So interestingly, both coal and nuclear power plants have some kind of mining component. We know that there are workers that have to mine the coal. We've already discussed that, that's for sure. But we also have to get the uranium ore out of mines. And so that's something that happens for both coal and nuclear power plants. All right, risk number two, greenhouse gas generation. This is actually a risk of both components as well. We know when we burn fossil fuels, so coal, petroleum, or natural gas, we are releasing carbon dioxide just by the nature of a combustion reaction. But alternatively, with a nuclear power plant, even though we don't directly emit carbon dioxide, in order to mine that uranium ore, we're using cars, we're using transportation systems that all directly release carbon dioxide. So even though it's not completely done inside the reactor, we are definitely releasing greenhouse gas and emissions just because of using transportation and moving this um, uh, ore around and whatnot. All right, number three, air pollutant generation. So air pollutants, we're going all the way back to our first module here, air pollutant generation. This one is actually just coal. Okay, just like we think, we've already talked about that. Nuclear doesn't really emit very many air pollutants, which is great. What about ash generation? So ash generation is something we talked about a lot when it was with coal. When we burn coal, we are definitely promoting ash and putting ash out there. A lot of soot is uh, contained, and you can see it on buildings near coal power plants. That's really gross, so just coal. Number five, mercury release. Mercury release is definitely something that's contributed and, and something we talk about with coal power plants. When we burn coal, it's definitely releasing mercury into the atmosphere. Not a lot, but some. Same goes for uranium and thorium release. This is definitely something that is only associated with a coal power plant. I know we use uranium and I know we have thorium in the radioactive decay series of uranium for a nuclear power plant, but being released out in the atmosphere, that is something that only happens with coal power plants. That does not happen with nuclear power plants, okay? Next one, HLW, so high level waste generation. That is something that is definitely only created with a nuclear power plant. So remember, this is not a lot of the waste that's created for a nuclear power plant, but it's definitely some of it. And that's your uh, dangerous chemicals, your acids and bases, or any direct radioactive materials. We also have fission product, gener or release, I should say, release. That is definitely that's something that happens for nuclear compounds. We know that nuclear power plants for fission product release and in those fuel rods, it's constantly going through fission reactions. So we're getting a lot of different byproducts. So that happens for nuclear. And the last one are going to be mine tailings and mill waste. Okay, definitely something that happens with a nuclear power plant. So we've gone through all the main ones and what we can see here is that the majority of them are actually having to do with a coal power plant. Even though we're generating high level radioactive waste with a nuclear power plant, we've contained it. We know how to store it. We know what to do with it. Whereas with a coal power plant, we're actually releasing stuff into the atmosphere. We are very much hurting and putting out bad things that are going to hurt human health and have adverse human health effects. It's really bad. So let me ask you, which power plant is better? for our adorable, cute, awesome planet, Earth. Which one, coal or nuclear, go. All right, this is definitely kind of an opinion piece. I understand that, but in my 100% biased opinion, I would say a nuclear power plant is significantly better than Earth, especially for directly comparing it to just coal. Maybe you could get me to change my mind if we were talking about oil or maybe natural gas, but when it comes to coal versus nuclear, nuclear is always going to win. All right, that's all I've got for you today. Have a great week. I hope you've loved this nuclear unit. I really have enjoyed it. Take care of yourself and drink lots and lots of water.